Welcome back. Now, most of us are thinking about getting healthy and losing weight at this time of year, but research shows that less than 10% of us will keep up the healthy changes we start this week. Mm. So here to share some tips on sustainable healthy eating and weight loss is nutritional therapist Heather Leeson. Good morning to you, Heather. Good morning, morning. We've never needed you more. Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. In January. And happy New Year. <laughs> happy New Year to um, you too. We are all trying to do better, aren't we? Yeah. Um, let's start with, I suppose, the diet. Not necessarily diets, but our diet. Where do we need to start? Yeah, well, these extreme diets that we all start on the 1st of January just don't work because we can't keep them up. So in terms of sustainable, healthy eating, pick a couple of things to focus on and do that forever. And that's going to move your weight and your health much more than some diet that you stick to for 14 days. You know, so most... is that just replacing something or changing a habit? Yeah, all of the above. Yeah. And focusing not on, I suppose, in diets, we tend to focus on what we can't eat. We should really be focusing more on the stuff that we yeah. should be eating. And in terms of sustainable things we can keep up in the long term, also things that are good for the planet. Because mm. now we're much yeah. more interested in sustainability, the environment. It's what we get asked about much more now in terms of, say, corporate business. Mm. People care about what they eat. And most of the things that we recommend in terms of environmental sustainability, also really good for our health and our waistline and actually our bank balance, which is important in January too. Is something like, um, and I say it's a simple change, and of course it's not, but eating less meat. That is the number one in terms of environmental yeah, sustainability. Seven days a week, try yeah. five days a week. Exactly, just less. And I don't think everyone needs yeah. to turn vegan. It doesn't suit everybody to do mm -hmm. that. And actually the way that we farm our meat in Ireland is quite sustainable compared to other parts in the world, but we all should really be cutting back a little bit on our mm. meat. Now the World Health Organization recommends eating meat three times a week or no more than three times oh, a right. week and completely avoiding processed meat. So I think we could all do with having a couple of plant-based dinners mm. and lunches every week, avoiding the processed meat. And if you're going to have meat, have less of it, have as good as you can afford, better. So if we're not often. having a meat dinner, let's say, Heather, yeah. what are we having? What's plant, on the plate? Plant-based And proteins. what are they? What's a typical dinner if it's plant-based? So that could be, instead of having, say, your chilli con carne, three bean chilli. Okay. Or instead of having a beef curry, having a vegetable curry. So you're using things like pulses, chickpeas, lentils, beans, peas. They are full of fibre, full of vitamins, minerals, protein, which you need. It fills us up. We need mm -hmm. it for weight loss. And these are much cheaper as well, much more environmentally friendly, good all round. Things like nuts as well. So they're, in terms of sustainability, really good for the planet. A couple of good studies last year came out showing that they're helpful for people who want to lose weight. Now, the big thing about nuts and seeds is portion size. So one portion yeah, a day. Yeah, they're calorific, yeah. aren't they? They are calorific. So a portion is not a handful, what people say, but a palmful. What will fit right. in the palm and you of your hand, your hand and you can yeah, close yeah. your hand. Not this. No, exactly. Yeah. And one of those a day. And we're talking about unsalted and un not your KP dried roasted. Has, not the really tasty ones, basically. No, well, these are tasty it, it too. It has got much better though, in terms of the range of... Oh yeah foods that are available. For They've sure. always been there, but For sure. our awareness of them. I watched an episode of MasterChef recently yeah. and the challenge was a vegetarian yeah. round. Yeah. And the variety of dishes that were put up like roasted cauliflower, beautiful fabulous, food, tasty fabulous. food. Fabulous. It is. It doesn't have to be boring no, or bland. No, it doesn't. There's no. really tasty That's options. That's not an excuse anymore. It's yeah, and it doesn't have to take ages either. No. I think we have this idea it takes ages. There is loads of quick recipes and you can buy things in the supermarket that are you know, help, going to help you. Things like ready-made falafel. There's a couple of things over beside you there, yeah, Simon. The like soups the soups here, yeah. and pulses that are already cooked. But the tin pulses are a great standby yeah. option as well. I always have them in my cupboard at home because you can just throw them into even and if they'll you... bulk out salads for you as well. Exactly. Yeah. And if you didn't want to go the full vegetarian, they're bulking out, say, a beef curry or a casserole, and you're eating less meat and more the veg based proteins, which are better for your health. The we soup that, that Fiona did in the kitchen today yeah. is actually a great example. Gorgeous. Take out the prawns and you have a yeah. vegan dish And you can put in something like tofu, which people tend to hate, yeah. but actually can be really healthy. And think of the colours that were in that dish, as well as the flavours. We're eating with our eyes. Well, we have Paul Knapp cooks regularly for us in mm. our name, the firefighting chef, who's a plant-based chef. Yeah. And he pretty much has tofu, not in every dish, but in every second dish. Yeah. And the things he does with it. Yeah, it's a real flavour carrier. Now, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think, you know, you want to have a bit of variety, not just of tofu, course, but it's yeah, a great yeah. option. The big thing for me, actually, is getting people to eat more vegetables. Yeah. Mm. It's back to putting in yeah. more of the good stuff. So at least five portions of veg 
every and wasn't day. And there a study last year, Heather, that said that five a day actually seven. should be seven. Yeah. Seven or eight, actually. Yeah, five yeah. is an absolute minimum. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, people say, oh, what's a portion? Don't get worried about portions. If you think of your plate, half of your plate at lunch, half of your plate at dinner at least should mm. be veg. Yeah. Okay. And that's one thing where you can eat more is better. And in terms of the environment, we're looking at seasonal veg. So what's in season in Ireland at the moment? Things like carrots, cauliflower, your beetroot, your root veg, and they make fantastic dishes. Absolutely, they're great roasting. Like, it, the beetroots are incredible Delicious, roasts. really sweet, really tasty, yeah. and really versatile yeah. as well. And frozen veg as well, which is really cheap. And frozen veg pocket. has the exact same nutrient value, does it? Yeah. Often more, actually. So okay. if you think about the ad for some of the, say, frozen peas, filter freezer in mm. three or four hours. So a lot of those so nutrients faster. are locked in versus something mm. that's been sitting in a warehouse for a couple of months. Yeah, a lot of chefs will say the best, if you're going to buy peas, buy frozen, because oh, yeah. they frozen. are frozen so quickly. Yeah, exactly. I know this idea here of <laughs> this reminds me of the Alan Partridge episode where he brings a 10 inch plate to an all inch buffet. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that. he has it in his satchel, you know, yeah. and he carries around with him. This is to do with portion size. Yeah, portion size is where yeah. a lot of people go wrong. And, you know, it doesn't matter what we do from time to time, like the Christmas blowout. Yes. But if every day your yeah. plate is a little bit bigger than it should be, you're eating more calories every day. and Because your mind the, is telling you to clean the yeah, plate. Yeah, of course, sure. But the plate's that size, From that's an fine. early age, we're told, yeah, clear yeah. the plate. And this, our plates have got 40% bigger in the last 50 years. And this is what used to be a standard dinner plate, maybe <clears> even a little bit bigger. This is what we would be more used to This is what to most households now. would have yeah. now as their yeah. dinner plate. Exactly. So there's only a, a difference of a couple of inches, but that, in yeah. terms of calories, is another five or 600 calories. So if you're having that every, every day. single day, that makes Three and a half thousand calories difference. a week. Exactly, and especially if you're having it at dinner, which is when we tend to have our biggest yeah. meal, we're not doing anything afterwards to burn it off. So less, have a smaller, move to a smaller plate. And as you say, little changes as well, in terms of just changes with ingredients. Yeah. Replace, replacing your creme fraiche with the yogurt. Yes. Yeah, it makes exactly. a huge difference. It does. There's or sour cream. Things, yeah. Yeah. things that you can do. You don't notice a massive difference, but you can keep them up forever. Mm. Give yeah. us a few swaps like that, Heather. What do we need so, to take out of the fridge and replace it with? Yeah. Well, that's um, a great one. That's, that's a great, great one. one to start yeah. with. I'm yeah. already doing that, though. I need new ones. All right, yeah. sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah. So say instead of your sandwiches at lunch, you might be having your white sandwich so with me a ham, no. <laughs> which is the one that's most still most common in Ireland. Yeah, ham sandwich. Use brown bread, whole yeah. grains, and use something like hummus or falafel okay. yeah. or even a little bit of cheese, but switch mm. things around there for breakfast, back to, you know, get away from the processed cereals, and move to something like porridge or what you've got in front of you there is overnight oats, really tasty, really easy. It's just back to basics. Think of how, say, our grandparents used to eat. A yeah. little piece of meat. Yeah. Loads of veg and what was in the garden. And you know what, but it was back to simple stuff, yeah. wasn't it? They didn't yeah. flood it with sauces no. or no, creams no. or anything and also, like that. They made their own bread. Yeah. So you'd make your own soda <laughs> bread, your own brown bread. <laughs> but with the technology nowadays, you know what's gone into it. You can yeah. do that so, so yeah. easy. Exactly. Yeah, it's what's back to now? the basics. And this is Black again something chili. that you can, it's an Irish They're product in yeah. any of the supermarkets. And you can add that into some veggies. And you've got a chili in 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Say if you've got frozen frozen mixed vegetables. So really, really easy, cheap, and all of the family will eat that. And you would, you go with, would you foods. go with the rice with that or would you go with the brown rice? Or... I'd probably go with brown rice, uh, some potatoes, sweet potatoes, yeah. whatever you have, sweet potatoes, another veg that's quite seasonal at the moment, yeah. delicious, chopped up, a little bit of olive oil, rapeseed oil in the oven, and there's And better for you than potatoes yeah, better or for chips. You. I find exactly. a great place to get veg in is through soups. Soups, yeah, yeah exactly. It's kind of hidden Because you veg, can load them. Yeah, and back load to the sustainable them. idea. So your stuff in the fridge that's looking a bit tired, no one wants yeah. to eat it, whatever it is, throw it into a veg. Don't chuck it out. A little bit of veg stock, a little bit of, say, curry spice, yeah. or like Fiona was using, the coconut milk Thai spices. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Blend and it finish up. it with a spoon of yogurt. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Cream it yeah. up. Yeah, exactly. I think the trick, the more oh, you cook is, and, and the more you try and be healthy, is to do batches of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Big like time. the overnight oats. Do it from Monday Big to Friday time. and have Big it in the time. fridge. Yeah, and if you're going to go to the hassle of making a lovely butternut squash, curry for example yeah make a big vat of it and stick it in the freezer yeah, yeah. There's, and there's really lovely cookbooks at the moment that give you ideas. There's a lovely one called um, Clever Batch by Susan Jane White, which has loads of really clever ideas like yes. that. And the Happy Pair books are great too, for great. just in terms of sustainable ideas. ideas. Right, yeah. you set us off at the right track. <laughs> We're away. <laughs> We're heading to the Trinity Radio. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Heather.